Hey guys, welcome back. I realized the entire picture, the corner is not in frame of the film here, but I can't fit that in. So anyway, here's part three. Well, not part three. Part two of the video, layer three of the project. So in this layer, I'm going to be adding a lot more clear with a tiny bit of the prior colors that I used. Now, since I did start a new video for part two, I didn't want to have the original video be like five hours long, so I cut it down. So what I'm going to do is just quickly name off the colors that I used in case you didn't see part one. It is out there though, if you guys wanna see it. Um, so I'm using Pearl Turquoise by Lumiere. Baja Blue by Jacquard. Walmart brand spray paint in the color of white. I don't have the can. I threw it out. It was empty. But it's just 94 cents a can. Very cheap. And then Caribbean Blue Mica from Brambleberry. This is a soap making company. I had some left over. And in the video prior to this I explained... The beaches in Hawaii, to me, are more bluish than a uh, greenish blue. So that's why I wanted to stick with the darker blue colors. So what I'm going to do now first is put, just like in the last couple of layers, start down here, then work up here, and then do the center. So I'm just going to pour some clear again. Down in this area, I want to have a nice thick coat now. Just get it all in there. I'm just going to move it just a little bit just to fill in that whole bottom area. I did heat up my resin today. Just the resin portion, not the hardener. There's no need to do that. I'm just filling in any little holes that I may see. After this layer is cured, I will see how it looks. And if I feel like I need to do a flood coat to have the sides covered uh, really well, then I will. But so far, they're covered pretty good. And um, I don't know if I'll be needing that, but we'll see. I don't want to say anything yet because the second I tell you guys I won't need it, I'll need it. Okay, so up here, what I'm going to try to do is put some of this clear in the areas that I really like and want to keep. So, for instance, I like this here. And I also like this area a lot. Like up, down, through here. This area. And then what I'll do is kind of like um, string some color, not string, but drizzle some color throughout the top here and there and see what we get. Okay, so I'm going to stop that for now. And I get a baby wipe. I find that baby wipes are the best thing 
and the easiest thing to use to get the resin off your gloves. Yes, you can use rubbing alcohol, but you can't use it on your skin. So, baby wipes, I get them at BJ's. And if you don't know what that is, that's like Costco is a big store where they sell in bulk. Um, I get like a 10 pack of them for like 15 bucks. So, well worth it. So now I have some of the Baja Blue, which is the alcohol ink that I'm going to throw in here and there. Okay, and then I have a little bit of the mica. Like I said, I didn't want to use a lot of it in this last final layer, possible final layer. Okay. And then a little bit in here. The blue mica going underneath the alcohol ink. Oh, absolutely gorgeous, guys. Any color mica that goes underneath of an alcohol ink, just the effects are beautiful. I absolutely love it. corner there. Oh, let's see. See, I really don't want to mess in this area. There's a couple of spots there, man. They just came out really nice. Now I'm going to put some of the uh, Lemir down along 
this area, the center area. I'm going to try not to let that happen again, let a bunch of it pour out. Okay, I'm going to stop that now. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is move this around and then I will add my final white where I think I need it, if I think I need it, which I'm probably going to need it. So first I'm going to just torch it really quick. Get rid of some of these air bubbles. notice there's a little bald spot over here so I just want to add a little bit of I have a clean cup so I don't get it all over my hands a little bit of clear right there I know I have a few others but they're small and will most likely get filled in Little pieces of sand where they don't belong. That one's under. Okay. All right, here we go, guys. Just heating it up. Hopefully I can get it to move a little bit today. I feel like maybe I should tilt it. I'm going back to the blow dryer. Now, if I wanted to create cells, I would keep going at it with the heat gun, but all I want to do is create movement, and I really don't want to take a chance of burning my resin. 
it's very thick even though I heated it still um, and it's given me a hard time really going in the places where I want it to go and it's coming over into places that I don't want it to be so I feel like I could do better with the air the blow dryer in this one so let's plug it in quick here I had to unplug it last night because we had gotten a bad lightning storm and I was worried that my house was going to get hit. So I unplugged everything. All right, here we go. See, now I can move it where I want to move it. Let that sit for a second see where it goes it's rolling back on itself I know I'm going to add a little bit of white down by the shore here just want to pick it up really quick And just manipulate those colors where I want them. There we go. Okay. So now I can do my white. Because I have those colors where I want them. And I could just take this and lightly draw through it and then use the blow dryer to blow out my waves. So it's like I'm drawing a wave with the popsicle stick, if you think about it. I definitely want to have some down on the shore. I did not like the way that one looked. And then we have another one here. This one was okay, but needed a little more definition over here. We have one through here. I'm just looking underneath and seeing where I had the other waves that may have just gotten covered up with some color. And I'm just adding them back in. Some I will not like this area up here. I don't think, look at the, what the spray paint's doing, selling up. Like maybe right here I'll do one this one I'm definitely not touching over here I didn't like the way this looked kind of join it and then I didn't like that one now that I'm now that I'm saying it out loud I don't like a lot of it <laughs> There is so much depth in here. I'm going to try to avoid that area and maybe have one there. 
And then I need to fix this one here. Uh, why not? Let's put one right here. This is called not knowing when to stop people. That's what it is. Okay. I'm stopping. It's out of my hands. So let me try the heat, see if I can get it to do anything. So you have to be careful of the plants too. Too many cells. Even though it does look like foam, right? Looks like sea foam. Call it sea foam. See, so sometimes cells, I don't want them. I know everybody aims to get them, but sometimes I do not want them. There goes my trees. I'm going to have to add a little sprig in there. I don't know if you guys caught that or not, but I'm setting stuff on fire, guys. to fix that. I don't like that area. So the way I do waves is I push them up and then I push them back down. But with this heat gun, it is just not cooperating today with me. So back to the blow dryer. So up and then down into some sort of a wave. See, now the problem is, is like that one, perfect, but I have to get at this one without affecting that one. Let's try this straw. All right, that's better. Straw it is. This way I could define them more. Can define them more and then I can faint on the ground from blowing through a straw. Jeez Louise. Just trying to get some kind of a definition going here. I should have just used a straw to begin with, I guess.
have one right here in the bottom layer that I forgot to blow out. So now it's annoying me. There we go. guys I think I'm gonna leave it alone for me believe it or not that's probably the best ocean pour I've ever done I really suck at these things I'm being honest with you so if I have something that resembles a shoreline I'm just gonna keep it there the cells are sea foam. That's our story. We're sticking to it. And um, I'm going to take you in for a close up to let you see some of the depth here. I'm sorry, I did not want to put this light on today. But I had to put it on to plug in my blow dryer. Um, because I feel like you could see better with it off. So let me take you in close here. All right, so I'm going to start the bottom right hand corner. You can see my little tiny starfish there with my sea moss that has no leaves anymore. <laughs> I have to add some more in there. I'm just going to add a little tiny piece in there. I won't bore you guys with that though. There's a wave over the beach. Just going straight up here. There's some subtle waves and then there's some crashing waves. You see the little piece of sea glass there. I have a few here and there. More um, moss, if you want to call it that. <laughs> Telling you, you can't get comedy like a burning bush on any other channel but this one. Like a literal burning bush look at that depth like it doesn't it seems like it's on top but that's three layers down it is so freaking cool i love it it looks so different in my room than it does on the camera but still looks beautiful on the camera so i'm going to go fix my little burnt bush now and um, I want to thank you guys for tuning in and dealing with my craziness. I truly appreciate it. Again, don't forget to check out Sharon's channel. I will link it below. It's Vivid Days, Sharon Lindley, L-I-N-D-L-E-Y. And uh, she makes some beautiful ocean pours and all other kinds of beautiful artwork, unique, beautiful artwork, and I just adore her. So anyway, have a great day, guys, and happy pouring.